TMNT Universe is meant for adult collectors and Ninja Turtles fans. Hi, welcome to TMNT Universe, I'm Utramex. San Diego Comic Con 2023 is quickly approaching and I want to talk about all the Ninja Turtle goodness that it might bring. So, let's go! Believe it, it's the real Ninja Turtles! We're your biggest fans! You sure about that, bro? Yay, Turtle Power! Welcome back! Well, it's that time of year again, and since San Diego Comic Con is just a couple of days away, and 2023 is shaping up to be the year of TMNT, I have high hopes for what surprises this year could bring. With Mute Mayhem opening just two weeks after the event, Paramount will be hosting a panel on July 20th in Hall H with the filmmakers. The cast were supposed to be there, but I'm not sure if that's still going to happen because of the SAG strike. But maybe we can still get some cool insights into the making of the movie. More importantly, I'm hoping they drop some info on the potential Mute Mayhem Universe cartoon that has been hinted at recently. And since it'll be a Paramount panel, maybe we'll get a few tidbits on some of the other Turtle projects like the live-action film being written by Colin and Casey Jost. But back to Mute Mayhem, and most of what this video is going to be about is the toys. A couple of con items from Playmates will be available online through Walmart Collector Con starting July 18th. These are re-releases of the basic Mutant Mayhem Turtles with movie accurate paint. Personally, I love these versions and I'm probably going to have to get them myself. I'm not sure if Playmates will be displaying anything at the show, but I'm hoping we get some more reveals for upcoming figures. In the meantime, Toy Shiz gave us a look at some Mutant Mayhem figures like Mondo Gecko, Wingnut, Scumbug, Genghis Frog, and this Walmart exclusive Mega Mutant. I'll put a link to his video in the description so you can get a better look at these guys. Next up on the Comic Con train, we have the Loyal Subjects and their best action TMNT line. I know a lot of people hate on these figures, but I'm excited to see some of the stuff they have coming up. These IDW style black and white figures are one of their exclusives this year. As well as this set with black weathering and another set rocking the regular clean look. Another exclusive will be this raft with a gold electroplated bike, and if that doesn't interest you, another version should be releasing as well. They've recently shown off some other figures like Toka and Razar, who also come in video game colors, and a Turtles in Time styled Super Shredder. There's been some rumors of more figures coming up, mostly focusing on the IDW comics, so hopefully they bring some of those to the show. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles must have. Why, thank goodness for Chef Boyardee! Moving right along, we have Super 7. They started teasing their TMNT Con exclusive with this image of canned pasta, immediately sparking speculation that we'd be getting a nod to the classic Chef Boyardee, mail away silver and black Super Shredder. I personally was hoping for an ultimate figure in this design. It turned out to be a reaction version of that figure that comes in a pasta can package, pasta not included. I think the presentation of this figure is awesome, but I have to say I'm a little disappointed that this is really just a repaint of the Reaction Shredder we've already gotten. I really think this should have been a new Super Shredder sculpt, since this is only half accurate, but that's just my opinion. And current listings for online retailers show some more cartoon-style reaction figures coming our way, so maybe we'll get a peek at some more of those on the show floor. And I'm really hoping to see some in-hand samples of some of the upcoming figures, as well as some reveals or teases. Maybe a look at the updated sculpt for the Rat King, or an updated version of the Party Wagon. Considering that they have some very large things to show off from other lines this year, I'm not too sure we're going to get that many TMNT Ultimates updates. And finally, we have NECA. NECA always shows off a lot in San Diego. Tons of reveals from their annual display only rival by the one they have at New York Comic Con. Between those two shows last year, they dropped a lot of figures on us, but at this point, most have come out or will in the near future. So I'm expecting them to hit us with a lot of previously unseen figures. Starting off with the cartoon line, they are beginning to dwindle the roster down, so it looks like they're going to be making some Toon style figures of non-Toon characters. Similar to what they're doing with the Yellow Jumpsuit April for the movie line. One of the few remaining unreleased figures is also from that Expanded Universe line, and that is Space Adventure Usagi. While he did have a figure in the old line, his own comic, and a pilot for his own show, he never technically appeared in the cartoon. And to my recollection, neither did this Donatello that he'll be packed with. But, both of these are cool additions. 
And let's not forget this tease of a Toon Last Ronin figure. I love the expansion of the line into uncharted territory, so maybe we can get other characters that never got a chance to appear in the cartoon. Like Worm, the Gold Fugitoid, or Pizza Face. Or maybe even Toon versions of Mirage characters like Karai, Renette, or Savani Romero. But before we go too far into the expanded universe, what's left from the original cartoon? Off the top of my head, I'd really like to see Hans and Feats, AJ Howard, Shibano Sama, Aleem the Mer Dude, and two that I want but I don't think they have plans to do, Tempestra and Ray. Come on NECA, surprise us. And outside of the figures, I'd love to get a look at an updated party wagon and some more info on those dioramas that they showed off last year. Moving on to comic books, let's talk about the TMNT adventure figures. This line is still very new and there are a ton of characters they can make, but here's a couple I'm really hoping for. Mondo Gecko, Leatherhead, and Wingnut and Screwloose. They're a must so that we can finally finish out the Mighty Mute Animals. There are also two sets of turtles that I would love to see, the Wrestling Turtles and the Future Turtles. Either would be awesome. And a few more that would make me happy are Parasitic Krang slash Shredder, Belly Bomb, and a large scale figure like the Chrome Dome one of the Warrior Dragon. Keeping with the comics figures, NECA has been putting out a lot of awesome Mirage characters lately. One of the most recently teased is Savani Romero, one of my personal favorite characters and I can't wait to see him in action figure form. I'm hoping that they bring some more of these to Comic Con. Baxter Stockman can't be too far from showing up along with that April version 2 that they teased earlier this year. Two other musts for me are Leatherhead and the Rat King, both making their first appearance in Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Leatherhead should be another large scale figure about the size of Zog the Triceraton. And speaking of Zog, some more Triceratons like the Gladiators would be very cool. Recently we got a Mirage variant character with the Wanderer Michelangelo, so I'm hoping for others like maybe Savage Raph. Speaking of variants, it can't be too long until we get black and white versions of the Lawson Turtles. But also, I don't really consider these Lawson Turtles, I just call them the Return to New York Turtles, but I'm holding out for a real Lawson style figure. And maybe some AC Farley style figures too? And lastly for Mirage, if Super 7 is going to release a Karai figure, NECA needs to get on that and give us that City at War look. And now we have the ever popular Last Ronin figure line, and there are still a lot of characters that we could get from this book. And spoiler alert for The Last Ronin if you haven't read it, but if you haven't, like seriously, go read it. Alright. I'd love some ghost turtles in a translucent blue plastic. I think that those are absolutely necessary. And I would love a chrome electroplated Oroko Hiroto Shredder. It would be a fantastic way to handle that figure. And from one of the reveals during April's April Takeover, we got a peek at Grammy April with what looks to be a little Yi. Hopefully we'll see this figure at the show, and with a little luck we'll see the other kids too. And I wouldn't complain if we got older versions of Yi, Moja, Adin and Uno. So after the tune and all the comic figures, we have the movie line. Like I said earlier, we did get a reveal of Yellow Jumpsuit April and I believe Blaine called it a TMNT Concepts figure, similar to the Toon Last Ronin in Space Usagi. So maybe we'll be getting alternate versions of movie figures that never existed like a Toon style costume for the Shredder, or maybe even a movie style Bebop, Rocksteady, and Krang. I guess anything's possible, especially since they're starting to run out of movie characters. I don't know if we'll ever get a Tatsu or Vanilla Ice figure, and I'm not sure who's left after that except maybe some characters from the third movie and a Secret of the Ooze, April, and Foot Soldiers. In keeping with the live action style category, we might get to see some more TMNT Universal crossover figures. I'm dying to see that rumored Dracula Shredder, and other rumors say that we might be getting another set of turtles as more monster characters. I love these figures and I think it's great that NECA is expanding all the ways they can make turtle stuff. Maybe they'll surprise us with a whole new crossover series, who knows? Well that about wraps it up and we haven't even gotten into the comic panels from IDW and Kevin Eastman so there's plenty more to look forward to. So let's sit back, soak it in, and I'll be back soon to talk about all the news. I'll see all you guys after the con. Ah, look at these poser wannabes. There is only one Shredder and I am unstoppable! <laughs> Hey guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to kick that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Turtle Tuesday, so you can always come back to see what's new. You can also check me out on various social media, 
Links in the description. And as always, for all things Turtles, check TMNT Universe. <laughs>